Hi everybody, this is Jody from Hallmark Scrapbook and Crafts. This is just a DVD case, or you could, some, I think a lot of people store their stamps in them. Um, there is nothing inside, there's no guts that hold the DVD in here. And so what I did is I took this case and I took a piece of fun foam and I cut it, I cut little notches out of the corners so that it fits in here, just like this. So that gives me the added height that I need in this case in order to use clear stamps. Now if I didn't want to use a clear stamp, you would take this out and just use it with this type of rubber stamp that already has this here, you would just use it like this. Okay, so then you just flop it over, press it down, and you're good. Good to go. Of course you'd need your paper on this side. And then stamp it, and you're done. So, but in order to take the place of this little, you know, foam piece, you want to go ahead and put this fun foam in here. Now, I happen to have some of this fun foam in this sheet like this, um, but I also had my fun foam stack, this one here, has a whole bunch of different ones. And so that was the first thing I did is I took a couple of pieces of this and glued it together. Gave me a similar thickness to this solid sheet here, um, and you can put that, just put that in there. So then I wanted something that would have a grid and that would hold my piece of paper in place, and so I took a piece of grid paper and I also cut it in to the size that fits in here, but I used this little thing, this little B, it says little B, it's called the Little B Perfect Positioner. And it is a gridded, um, sticky on both sides, kind of like a like a cutting mat. Uh, only it's sticky on both sides instead of on one side. You can see that it's very, very thin, and it's not super sticky. So I cut that out and put that inside there. So then I've got a little little grid and something that I can use to um, hold my paper down. And so I can just line it up right in here. As you can see, this is a regular um, five and a half by four and a quarter piece of paper that's often used. It's a very common size for card making. And you can just line it up on this grid here, and then you're good to go. So you can take your stamps. I'm going to use this Altenew set. The, um, Vintage Roses, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this um, stamp tool to line these up. So I'm going to take my three pieces. Got to get the right three pieces, that would be helpful. And I'm just going to go ahead and set this on here. And then I'm going to pick it up with this side. I'm going to go ahead and use the new Alta New Crisp inks in the reds. There's ruby red, frosty pink, and coral berry. Frosty pink is the lightest color. I'm just going to ink it up real good. Down. And these inks are wonderful. I can't even tell you how much I love these inks. Sorry for all the noise. I should have had my wipey ready to go. So they do. They, they stamp perfectly every time, even solid images. And that is my, that is my true test for an ink. 
then I'm going to take the second color and you can see, you can just lay it right on top because you can see right through it and you don't have to try to line it up while you've got it on your stamp thing. There's so then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the second color, the coral berry. You can see that I got a little bit of ink on the outside here, so I'm going to take that off. I'm going to stamp this one down. Oh, it's so pretty. Clean that off. Take my third one. And I'm just lining the, this up here with this. And I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Use the darkest color, which is ruby red. Clean up my little mess. And then stamp that down. Oh, just makes the prettiest little flowers. And then I'm going to show you one more thing. This is this is really fun because one really nice thing about this type of a tool is that if you mess up when you're stamping, I'm going to purposely not ink it up all the way. So you can see that it's just not going to stamp super nice. See how it's kind of missing little spots here and there. So now I can just go ahead and do it again. And then you've got perfect, perfect coverage going the second time around. So this is just a really inexpensive way to make the similar stamp tool. Of course, it doesn't give you as much space um, in here, but it, it holds my card nicely in here. Um, and then the other, another thing that you can do to add to this if you want to is that th there's two parts of this little bee perfect positioner. Um, it's not two parts, I mean it's one part that I cut in half and made two parts, so <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, and so what I did, what, I, what you can do is if you want grids on the other side, is here's, here's the other part that I've trimmed down, and now I didn't take the, 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 st the sh plastic sheet off the top because I only want it to be sticky on the bottom to stick to the lid of this case. So then I just line it up with the grids on the under part, the side um, on the underneath. And then you can see that you can see the lines through the back side. like that. And if I want to make sure that I'm putting my sentiment on straight, I can go ahead and put it, I can use these grids to help me make sure that I get everything straight. And then I go ahead and stamp that down. Anyway, I just wanted to show you a really inexpensive version, homemade version of that awesome, awesome, awesome stamped tool. And you can get all the products to make one yourself on our website, so visit hallmarkscrapbook.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.